Hey guys, what is up? It's Amy with Amy Reads YA, and today I have another Shelf Love crate. I can't even remember the theme of this month. We're gonna roll with it. All right, I'm back. I had to uh, use my fingers to pry it apart, but we're here. We're, we're living. Oh, I can't get it open. All right. So this was the card for this month. And it was Life in the Shadows. I had forgotten all about that. I honestly couldn't even remember what book box I ordered this month, so that's where my life was at. Blue fuzzy. All right, so the first thing I see is an iron-on patch for Nevernight, which I know is by Jay Kristoff, but I don't know what it's about. I've never read it. It says, never flinch, never fear, never forget. So that's pretty cool. I guess I'll have to read that. I think that that's more of a new adult book, if I remember right. The next thing is a Shadow Singer soap. If you can see that. That is musk, floral, sandalwood, and patchouli. So like very masculine smells. I like this. I don't know if I would want to use it for myself, but it does smell really good. So that is Shadow Singer's very cool. The next thing is a pillowcase. I think it's a square pillowcase and it says if I cannot become better, then I will become so much worse. And obviously that is by Holly Black in The Cruel Prince. I'm going to go right on my reading chair. Well, once I get a pillow for it, it will go on my reading chair. So that is awesome. Ha! The next one is a sticker that says, Fine, Make Me Your Villain, which actually was my last um, <laughs> phone background so that's cool that is um obviously from the Grisha trilogy so there we go and another one of these I've been talking about these and we have a bookmark fear is a hungry beast the more you feed it the more it grows and that is a quote from some one of the stalking jack the ripper books and that's really pretty. It's an Ink and Wonder, so it's a. Uh, they're pretty popular. It's a nice wood mark. So. And then the book. The book. I just. Oh, just saw somebody talking about this book on Twitter. This is Give the Dark My Love by Beth Revis. I have no idea what it's about, so let's check it out, actually. So that's pretty neat. Oh, and I think also that this is the first um, Shelf Love where it is actually a signed book rather than a signed book plate. All right, so the back is just a short little blurb. I'll read that. I saw death itself. It was a feral thing made of smoke and shadow. It was hollow and empty and hungry. Not a bad opener. Okay, so just read a short synopsis. It looks like this is kind of a... Um, fantasy romance with a little bit of paranormal maybe in it. Um, it looks like our main character, she goes to an academy to study alchemy. She meets a boy and there is a plague sweeping the land and the two of them kind of put their heads together to get deeper and deeper into alchemy to try and find a cure for the plague and she starts to dabble in necromancy so this sounds like a lot of books that I have read or been reading lately all kind of rolled into one so that's exciting it sounds all right sounds pretty good and it looks like it's told from dual perspectives which I always appreciate I love multiple uh, not multiple personalities I love multiple viewpoints so that is Give the Dark My Love by Beth Revis to quickly wrap up here. Oh, and the October theme is Mischief and Magic, which if you didn't know, now you know. Quick vendor shout outs. The 
Woodmark is Ink and Wonder, like I said earlier. They make really, really cool stuff. The, uh, well, the card is Cat Adara, who has also been just uh, designing all of these books. The sticker from the Darkling is by Noverin Tail at Nova and Hill, and all these will be linked down below with their with their shops as well. The Hello Case is by Miss B, and she does, she's done some stuff before. Um, I've gotten a tapestry from her from Alcrate, so. The Patch is by at Bookmarked Tattoos. I don't really use patches, but I got one in an owl crate once and I just kind of put a sticky back on it and stuck it on my bookshelf so I'll probably do the same for that. The soap is by Love You More Studio and I feel like I'm missing something. Nope and that is it. So that was a pretty cool box. Once again shelf love crate never disappoints. I am not sponsored. I do not have a code, unfortunately. I'll take a code if you see this shelf love. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm excited for next month's Magic and Mischief. If you like my unboxings and showing my goodies, please like, comment, and subscribe, and follow my social media down below. What boxes did you guys get this month? Let's talk about it. Alright, see you later. Bye!